What's up everyone, this is Squiggs. Welcome back to another episode of Squiggy's Puzzle Basement. That is right, we are back. It is October 2nd, the official release date of Squiggy's Puzzle Basement episodes, as you probably have come to know in our most renowned series. Shout out to our sponsor, Shad's Garbage, um, the most lucrative par partnership this channel has ever had. He is the official sponsor of Squiggy's Puzzle Basement, so we have to shout him out. Um, you may be saying, Squiggs, but this is not, this is not a puzzle. <laughs> and you, you'd be right, but it's got, I mean, this is a basement. We're halfway there, right? <laughs> We're doing pretty good. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, let's, let's go through what's going on exactly right now. Today is October 2nd, also known as the day before October 3rd, also known as the day before the release date of the infamous, not infamous, just the famous <laughs> Squiggy Puzzle Basement episodes. Um, and turns out I just spent about two weeks working on the 1000 subscribers special, which is live right now. I just put it out um, simply a few hours ago, only to realize that, oh my God, it is one day away from the day after the, the release of Squiggy's Puzzle Basement, which is kind of bad timing, to be honest. Um, just because like, Squeeze Puzzle Basement's like a vlog kind of like series that we do where I just kind of talk. I just spent two hours talking. So like, it's going to be kind of a weird one. Also, I only have about an hour <laughs> to record this video and edit it and get it ready for tomorrow. And because if there's one thing about Squeeze Puzzle Basement, it's that it comes out on the 2nd of October. It's literally the only thing about it that is standardized. <laughs> that and our sponsor, of course. Um... So it's going to be a bit of a weird one this year, uh, mostly because of the timing and relative with the, uh, with, uh, uh, what would you call it? With the, um, thousand subscribers special. I was thinking originally we can make Squiggy's puzzle basement. Hmm, where should we place our, what, what color should we be folks? Uh, let's be blue. The blue is, the blue's in a decent spot. Uh, but I didn't pick it because of that. I just thought it was the coolest color. Um, but yeah. Just because of the timing next to the 1,000 subscribers special, I thought I was thinking of making Squiggy's Puzzle Basement almost like Easter, where the timing changes in the year depending on how close it is to th subscriber milestones. But I decided that was convoluted and a cop-out, and I should just go into my fucking basement and try and record an episode. But I don't have a puzzle, so we're going to be playing a game from my childhood, The Amazing Labyrinth. It's kind of like a puzzle. It's got the pieces. You're, you're trying to puzzle your way to find the treasure that's bad that's not that's not a puzzle that's not what a puzzle is but <laughs> we're gonna just play through it this is one of my favorite games when i was younger and honestly i've never heard anyone talk about it or anything so i'm hoping if you see it you think it's as cool as i do because i really think this is one of the coolest board games ever made and um it's just really unique in what it does so what happens normally you have four people so i'm just gonna be me and then for me on my side i would take a certain number of cards i'm gonna take three in this case the lizard, the skull, and the dragon. So everyone would have three of these cards and we'd all be trying to get to the things. So if you look at right here, I can, oh, I can't really do this without blocking the light, but I can travel along this road, get to the sword, the troll, the bones, one of mine. I'm sitting like right, let me, let me move back a little bit so I don't completely block the light. Just like always, this is really poorly thought out. And we're in a brand new basement now. You can see all my stuff from moving is everywhere. Those are my novels, that's my recording equipment, and those are my snacks. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just like always, it's really poorly thought out. And the lighting's bad. Oh, we still do have a little bit of magic from the old place. Um, <laughs> but the puzzle we're trying to solve is how can we get to there in the fewest amount of moves possible? And the move you make is by taking this, this, uh, this piece, this one leftover piece, I managed to keep all the pieces for this game throughout my entire childhood. How fucking impressive is that? Look at these tiny pieces. Lost all of the, <laughs> lost all the things you're supposed to put on here, it seems. But, um, ew, is that a bug? God, get the, get the fuck out of here, buddy. Come on. Um, all right, so, yeah. I uh, managed to keep all the pieces throughout the year, despite being a kid. <laughs> and uh, what you do is, like, if I wanted to change the path up a bit, I might be like, hmm, I need to slide this upwards. It's going to be at a, this one's not going to really count. Well, I'm just going to do it. It does count, but um, it's not really a good move by any stretch of the imagination. 
So let me just, I have to even some stuff out here. So like if I wanted to do that and put this in here, I would slide everything up, shift the maze over, and now I can get to this key. Do you see what I mean? And these ones are all like stuck to the board permanently, so you can only push down the, the lanes that you have here. Really cool game and super fun when you have multiple people, because now this is the piece, and the next person can put it wherever they want. And then like it just make it like you can either block other people or you can try to get there yourself. So for our first move, we did that and we're going to move our piece. You can move your piece as far as you want down here to the skull. Yeah, so basically today is the day before the day after Squiggy's Puzzle Basement. And um, let's find our two remaining pieces. We need the dragon and we need the lizard I just pushed off, which is super easy to get to um, in this case. So... Oh, what was I saying? Oh, yes, the day before the day after the puzzle basement, and I realized I don't have even a puzzle in my house, and I'm at work right now. I'm on my break at work recording this video so I can put it out. I'm so sorry to release two videos in a row that are vlogs. I know it's not it's not really what I'd want to do, but you have to keep with the fact that Squiggy's Puzzle Basement comes out on the 2nd of October. It's like I couldn't get away from that. So we're going to do another little, little vlog where we talk about our last minute projects in life. And uh, <laughs> it just, it has to be that way. Sometimes it has to be like that. And here we are. Our last one we need is the, the dragon here. I'm thinking we need more cards. Maybe we do five total. Let's do two more. Um, so we also have the rat and the treasure chest now. So the rat is up here. And the treasure chest is here. Both of those are hard to get to. We're going to have to just start making moves and hope it works out. One kind of cool thing is you can't push them off the edge, I don't believe. But you can push them this way. Uh, which is like push them along the path like that would trap me if it, and then when it was my turn i'd probably have to put this back in this way just to freaking get out of there and come back around you know what i mean then i'd make my move and do something else it's kind of a hard board and it's kind of a hard game i'm realizing to play when you're trying to talk i'm gonna make my move to right here actually and then my next turn i'm gonna put one right here pushing over and as you can see when i pushed over i kind of revealed the way to the mouse so we can say we got the mouse card. <laughs> and um, yeah, really fun game though. And um, yeah, see the problem is, I normally this is when I go through the channel and talk about all the stuff that's coming up. I just did all of that yesterday in the world's longest video that took me so fucking long to edit. Oh my God, I'm sorry I haven't been releasing re lately. That's something I can definitely say. Um, I, my release schedule has been really limited lately because I've been working on this video to try and thank everyone, but like I didn't realize how bad I am at editing or how long it was gonna take, basically. So I'm gonna move right here, put this here. I'm gonna zing myself down to this crown. So my next move, it's a little bit easy when no one's here to try and block you. I can move right here, get the dragon. I'm gonna move this card like right here so we just know what we're going for. Um, but yeah, it took me so long to edit. It took me over 12 hours, I think, to make that video. It took me 10 hours of editing. Then there's the two-hour commentary track I had to record. Um, there was a two-hour music track in the back of that. I'm not sure if you noticed, but there's two hours of uncut music being freestyled at the back of that video. Really low, because I found out it was kind of intrusive. Um, I'm going to take our little lizard friend and stick him up in here. And that allows us to move Holding this way. Yeah, I realized it's a little intrusive, so I kept it kind of low. And our next move is going to move it back. Boom, right to the treasure chest. Bada bingo, bada bango. We got another one. What's our next card? Um, yeah, I realized it was a little too distracting to have it up loud. So I kind of put it kind of quiet in the background. But like that took a long time to record. And I need to learn how to edit. I have some cool editing projects. Where is the ghost? Oh, he's right next to us. So we don't need to make a move. We're going to take our lizard buddy. Just stick it anywhere. You do have to make a move every turn, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. But um, we actually don't need a move to get where we're going. So we'll just put this guy anywhere. And we can move over to the ghost. Take that out of here. Uh, we'll just keep the top of the deck. I think we I keep changing where I want this deck to be, which really doesn't matter. The video is like almost over, and I'm coming up with new rules. We'll flip our card. Uh, the Candelabra. I always like that one. Uh, that's in a weird spot for us, actually. It's up there in the corner. There's no way to push really anything that lets you... I could... Oh, wait, no. 
I see, because I have the flat piece here, which I wasn't considering. Oh, it does get a little annoying when they get out of whack and they can't push them through, but I mean, it's a board game. It's a shifting maze board game. You got to cut it a little slack. Now we can go up to the candelabra here. I'm doing it almost in one move per card, which is the best you can possibly do in this game. You can only land on one option at a time. It's like the keys too. That's a, that's a cool one. Those are down here though. It can be moved, but they're far away. Hmm. Um... Yeah, so that video's finished now. I really want to start doing more edited videos in the in the future that have cool stuff like that. Uh, a lot, I have a lot of ideas for the future of this channel, honestly. Um, there's just a lot of cool things I would like to do. I really think we can stick to our core theme of user user created content being shown off on the channel and kind of expand that category outwards a little bit. Um, so hopefully we'll see some more of that coming up. Let's try and get to these. How do you get to the keys from... It's like literally impossible to get to the keys from where we are right now. Um, I really have n no idea how we're going to do this. And It's not only just like one move, it's multiple... Oh, well, if I push this down, that allows... I can move to he here... Right, and then I can push this over here. It's a two mover. It's a two mover, but it's still pretty good, I'd say. Okay, we knock that one off, and that gives me a pretty long pathway next to the keys. I mean, we can't. We can go to right here. This is one of my favorite tricks: is you leave yourself on a path, and then you can push yourself the next turn right into it. I remember using that quite a bit when I was younger. <laughs> Oh man, such a great game. Yep, the, the amazing Labyrinth folks right here. With two guys holding up the maze in the pun that they were so fucking proud of that they centered it. Winner of Parents' Choice Gold Seal Award. Deep within the Labyrinth, players search for treasured objects. Stop by a stone wall. Use the extra tile to shift the maze and open the passage for your players to advance. Oh my god. Yep, we've lost the four wooden playing figures. We might have lost one or two of the treasure cards. It's a 20 minute game for, for ages 8 to adult. Players with dealt cards to represent the goals in the maze, and each turn have one opportunity to shift the world walls by inserting an extra tile. After moving the maze, the player may advance that will through the open corridors. Often it's possible to reach the goal in one turn. Other players may others may prove more elusive. The first player to reach all the assigned goals and return to the starting point wins. Oh, we need to get back to blue afterwards to say that we're done. So that's I think we've hit about about five now. So I'm thinking we can do just one more right there. And then we can zip ourselves back to start. So yeah, thank you for tuning in for this year's Squiggy's Puzzle Basement. I know it's right on the heels of a two-hour vlog and that you probably could not care less about hearing me talk anymore. <laughs> you probably want to see some of the gameplay that I haven't been putting out forever. Don't worry, this didn't get in the way of the gameplay. I'm actually, I'm at work today. Like I said, I took 12, 14 hours of overtime. So I'm at work today. What would our next card be? The Knight's Helmet? That's super easy. Oh! Crap, I just dropped my phone. Luckily, I didn't smash the screen on this super concrete floor that I'm on. But, um, yeah, there's going to be... I'm going to go upstairs and finish my shift, and I'm going to finish editing those videos. Um, I have the next ROM hack ROM ready to go out. Um, it's, you'll see it tomorrow, if all things go well. Because normally, I'm going to be uploading on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, I think is the new plan. Those three days are what I'm going to go for. So, to, this is kind of like a... A special exception because I mean it's October 3rd it's National Squiggy's Puzzle Basement Day <laughs> so like that's the only reason this is coming out on on such a weird day um, but yeah there'll be more ROM hacks soon there's gonna be more um, Mega Man Maker levels soon those are gonna be the two focuses going forward and I got a couple of surprise for you Mega Man Maker fans I got a pretty cool surprise I think for a, a new series that I think you're gonna like uh, that I'm now inspired to do after learning uh, that I'm an editing master if I have 12 hours to spare. <laughs> but anyways, I won't drag this on any more than it needs to be. Thank you so much for joining me for this year's episode of Squiggy Puzzle Basement. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's a blinding light to guide us out. Take it easy, my friends, and I will catch you all in the next one.